Hello, my name is Orange. This chicken was brought from my hometown a few days ago. It won't taste good after being frozen for a long time. It just so happens that there are fresh five finger peaches in the market today. Wait a minute for a fragrant five fingered peach sniper. The scallops are fine today. The meat is quite thick. I bought a few for two dollars each. I also bought a piece of plum and some vegetables. It tastes like a vegetable cellar. I don't know what it's called. So tender, let's marinate the chicken first. Prick a few more holes with a toothpick to make it easier to taste. Put a little salt and peanut oil in it. Then throw the five finger hair too in. Spread well and marinate for more than two hours to taste. This chicken is quite big today. Leave a spot for soup. Just cut it. White cut chicken is the easiest. Just boil the water, put the chicken in and cook it. After marinating and tasting on the other side, you can cook it in an electric rice pot or steamed. My kids like to eat fragrant. So I put it in the oven and bake it for him. Bake at 240 degrees for 25 minutes. Pigs uncover the tinfoil and bake for another 10 minutes. The skin is so burnt and yellow. Then take it out and cut it. Drizzle the soup on the bottom. The authentic five-finger peach orange muscle is complete. Fragrant and simple. The white-cut chicken here is also cooked. Take it out and let it cool before cutting the rest. You can put some carrots and lotus roots in the chicken soup. Cook it for another 30 minutes. Sauté minced garlic and chili until fragrant with a little salt. Light soy sauce, oyster sauce and sugar to taste. The little garlic sauce is ready to stir fry. This garlic sauce can be used to steam oysters or other seafood vermicelli is delicious. Put some onions under the bottom of the casserole to prevent sticking to the bottom. And a little more durable sweet potato flour. The bag meat was a bit thick, and I cut it open and spread it on top. Put the just fried garlic sauce in. Above. Add a little water. Cover and cook for 5 minutes, then drizzle some light soy sauce. Just order some cilantro with scallions. Our family likes to eat this bag. The meat is thick. The price is also affordable. Tastes fresh. Make a steamed egg with minced meat for the kids. The egg liquid has been prepared. Put a plate on it. Boil the water and steam for 8 minutes. Turn off the heat and simmer for another 4 or 5 minutes. Heat the oil in the pan and put shredded ginger in it. Pour in the beaten minced meat and fry dry the water. Add an appropriate amount of salt after frying to taste. Light soy sauce with oyster sauce. More pepper to taste. Stir fry evenly. Pork feet with appropriate amount of water. Cook the minced meat for a few minutes. Then the eggs on our side are also steamed. Pour the cooked minced meat over the eggs. Put some scallions on it. Very simple steamed eggs with minced meat. Tender and smooth. Very suitable for children to eat. After cooking the soup for 30 minutes, just add some salt to taste. I like to put corn in every soup. 
because our kids are not tired of eating. Let the white cut chicken cool. Cut it and place it on a plate. This ginger sprinkle is the soul of the white cut chicken. He tastes completely different from ginger. Has a very unique scent. Put a little more light soy sauce after beating it. Two more drops of peanut oil. This is the soul dip of our white cut chicken. The super fragrance is all done and you are ready to eat.